I'm gonna need you now to imagine that these three individual clips are part of one music video or movie, okay? So let's say that these are all different parts, okay, of the video, just like they have in the um, thing video. Pretty much if you didn't get it, we're doing here a black and white kind of thing. Probably got it from the um, thumbnail. If you understood the name, great. If not, it's okay. It's an old music video, old, old song. But pretty much what we're going to be doing is fading in from black and white and transitioning black and white how they did in the music video very simple but if you learn this then you're gonna going to understand a lot more than just a simple transition slash effect whatever okay so we have here a clip of just water going great then that's sort of what happened i don't want that nope I'm gonna do my own transitions. Thank you. Okay. So now, fair enough. Okay. So now I want, this is my plan at least, to show you guys two things. The first one is just gonna be transitioning from color into black and white fire. Simple enough. We add a color compressor. Actually, there's two ways to do it. Add a color compressor, compress the saturation completely. That's a great way to do it. You can see here you can compress different stuff. Whatever you want. You can also target color. I really don't know what this does. But if I need to guess it does. Let's say you could pull the... I don't even know. Truthfully. I have no idea. But I'm just going to keep it to white. This is an easy way to take out saturation. In staying in the edit page. Now there's probably other ways. Um, the other way that I know is going here to color page, see a saturation, done deal, make sure that you have the clip that you wanted selected, no more saturation, great, and then you didn't need to add this guy, so we don't even need him, okay, great, now we're going from this clip to this clip, oh, I forgot, this is something called the hard cut, and that is fine, if you want to use that, great, in the music video, they used something called a cross dissolve, so let's see how that looks. Fair enough, just here, we're sort of like dissolving in a specific way that we have that as the background. And then like this is sort of covering over it and making it, it's fine, it looks pretty good. Doesn't matter, it depends on what you've cut. Let's say you've cut this guy down like I did, I cut him. So then you can see here the white outline. So that's how far we can make our transition. As you see here, it's all the way to the white outline. If you look, white outline, makes sense, right? Because we're sort of still using that on here. Now, if we would sort of make this guy, nope, sorry. If we now have a cut of both of these guys, and then we do it, then we can do it to like this middle weird thing, which is possible. So that's also pretty nice. I like that one too. It's all pretty good. Now, what I want here is the black and white. And then let's say inside the black and white. I don't need you. Inside the black and white. What we're going to be doing is turning it off black and white. So, actually I won't do it with the fire. I want to do it with this guy. So let's just bring him. Let's um, go here. Let's look for a point that we like want the color to sort of pop in so let's see let's say here i really like this shot pretty much that's like that point i want it to be full color okay so this guy is full color the whole clip great but i want it to start black and white so what we're gonna need to do is go to the gener go to the open effects okay and then we have your color compressor drop it on won't do anything yet this is what i showed you guys before Color compression, of color, boom, no more color. I know it's amazing. Now here though, I want it to be full color and that's just indicating right here where I am, full color. So now here, it's still gonna be full color but because we didn't change anything else. But let's say, and if you wanna go to your stamp, you can go there. I want one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, blah, 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 whatever. Okay, good enough. 
I want from, actually, I want it right here, okay, for it to be still at no color. So that means this whole place will be out of color till we get to him. And if we play, it's sort of just gonna add the color in. So if we lay it in like this, you can see color. I know, and it's sort of, if you make, see this and this, if you make this one, the left one, depending how you're doing it, but if you make the one, if you make them farther, it's going to be more like dissolving in and whatever. So that's pretty much it. And um, what I want to tell you guys, oh wait, I remembered, I'm using here a LUT for the Venture Resolve, I think that makes it look pretty good. You guys can leave me a comment if you like it. If you don't, keep it to your... No, you can leave a respectful comment. I like the normal version, but give it a chance. Come on, give it a chance. Now, um, if you want to get that LUT yourself, I am making it viable on my Buy Me a Coffee page, so hopefully I'll have it there soon. That's pretty much it. Gonna be trying to make some other stuff for there presets or I don't know what um see you guys I guess in the next one and don't forget to leave a like if you like this video if it helped you and just tell everyone you know like just spam in your contact no don't do that anyone you think could actually benefit from it that's it wow so this is the smallest I can make it that's that's very interesting no wait I don't want to lose you wait let's get it Let's get it. Oh, this should be a video game. Like trying to zoom in when like it's moving for you automatically. Does that and you need to like, no, move it back, zoom, no, it's moving, no, zoom. Oh my gosh. The color. Ah! What the heck?